Hello, and welcome back to my magic world of zine. So, just to note, I will try and uh, change the sound fonts and uh, sound drivers here every video, just to check what works best. Because I did try something, but very briefly, and uh, I think it would be better to just have a bit of an extended preview for these things. So right now I'm running on Munt and with the LAPCI emulation. Um, so the sound should be fairly okay, but not as good as it could technically be. <laughs> Alright, so load, and unfortunately this game actually gets you the load game menu even if there's only one of these things. and. Yeah, you can't even press select on the empty place, so it's like, what's the point? They had it correctly implemented in uh, House of Terror, so that's strange. So yeah, anyway, I got everyone equipped with items. Um, yeah, Kirk has lots of things that he needs to sell, because everyone started off with a leather belt, which does absolutely nothing! I don't know why they <laughs> even added those. And yeah, the club is not actually useful for anyone because everyone could use something with weapons. And yeah, everyone is pretty good with armor. And uh, yeah, that's one of the interesting things that I noticed in this game. You can see the silver charm here, right? And uh, Kirk has 7 AC. If I remove the silver charm. He still has 7 AC. So I think the way this works is that only the items in the armor tab add AC, and accessories only increase your offensive stats, not the defensive ones like in Owls of Terra. So that's good to keep in mind. So I gave a silver charm to Kirk, and I gave both the silver ring and the swift ring to Scotty. So he goes earlier than our spellcasters. So yeah, overall this is actually a very might-oriented party. Um, I don't have neither a ranger nor a druid, because in this game actually they don't get any uh, unique spells at all. So, a cleric and a sorcerer can cast everything. So that's why I have a party just like that. Which is a, a bit unfortunate because I think druids would have been very nice to have as a pretty good party member. Well, druids are actually better than sorcerers in terms of uh, being able to equip things, but it's just slightly and it's better to just have a normal sorcerer for all the extra spells. But anyway, here we have enemies. Also, I need to set my clue book up correctly. Okay. Um, so, this guy. I can shoot it. Also, hmm. I need to try and see if I can change some of the... Uh, frame rate options because I'm getting weird things on the screen. It's like tearing. Okay, so let's go into Lady Geraldine's tavern and go see what everyone here is talking about. So in this game all of the places are actually places and not just squares you can enter. And you can see all kinds of furniture and whatnot. And uh, if you press space, you can talk to them. Get lost! Can't you see I'm drinking? <laughs> yep. And... Get lost! Oh. Can't you see I'm drinking? Yeah, if you press the gem, it actually also does that. Um, but I want to put text on. Well, it's like subtitles in this game. If you use the CD version. That Gunther, what a dunce. He paid that con man Joe a fortune to clean up this town. Yep. So, 
we will <laughs> learn about this a bit later. But yes, Gunther is the mayor of this town. He... he... breeds... breeds them in the warehouse. Yep. He breeds them in the warehouse, indeed. Some fool said that money is now growing on trees. Ha! Huh? <laughs> yes. Money is growing on trees these days. This place is deserted. You should go to River City. Now there's a town full of action. <laughs> uh, the voice acting in this game is really great. Get lost. Can't you see I'm drinking? <laughs> uh, yes. So River City is another city that we will be able to find later on. Alright, so there's... beds. And if you press search, you will get to search it. And of course, I'll give all the searching to Scotty. Because as an engineer, he is the best at finding the right things. Okay, so I got a coin. What? A coin of shrap metal. Shrap metal is a really powerful <laughs> late game spell. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Now in this game I'm not sure how things work. Um, one nice thing is that you can see charges already shown, so you don't have to cast Identify all the time. And you can't actually equip miscellaneous items. You instead get the Use button. Which is nice, that means you don't have to actually equip it into any slot, you can just use it whenever. Um, but I don't know whether you can trade these during battle, like you could in Isles of Terror. I guess I'll just have to figure that out, eventually. Alright, um, hmm. I want to give this to someone. Uh, yeah, I might as well give it to Spock. Okay. I don't think I want to really go into the tavern itself, to the counter, because I don't think there's anything interesting there. Okay, search again. Nothing here. Oh, a ring mail! And yeah, he actually is the one that finds everything. Hmm. So maybe it would be a better idea to make him the merchant. Yeah, that does sound like a good idea. Okay, so a ring mail, that's actually pretty good. Everyone starts with scale armor and one ring mail. And uh, let me see who can actually equip this. Because at the start of the game, equipping everyone correctly is actually quite important. Okay, so ring mail is actually max for ninjas. So everyone can wear it except for barbarians? Yes. Yes, everyone can wear it except for barbarians. So sorry Kirk, you're not getting the ring... Uh, the Yeah, the ring mail. And who needs AC? Sarek would actually need AC. So here you go. Scale armor, equip the ring mail. Yeah, eight AC. <laughs> All right. Yes, right now I'm still running on seven thousand cycles, but I might change that later. And there's the slime. All right, slimes. Um, let me find the description of these guys. Slime. 50 experience, 2 hit points, no AC, 2 attacks, poison damage, 25 speed, 1 to 2 damage, no ranged attack. There is no monster in all of Zine easier to kill than a slime. Although slimes are imports, they can only be found in the town of Vertigo. Yep, pretty easy to kill. And Kirk got hit for one hit point. And that's not too bad. Uh, the people that I need to take care of are Bones and Spock. Especially Spock. 
because he is really bad at it in this whole hit point business. Whoa! Hi there, slime. Yeah, that's because he is a sorcerer and he's also an elf, and elves get a minus on their hit points. Also, Endurance 16, very good, but not that great. Compared to, say, Sarek, 19 Endurance, very high. So, yeah. Okay, well, um, this is the tavern's back door. I might as well just go through the town itself just to know what's up. Of course, our main goal right now is to, well, defeat Lord Zine, but also um, we need to find a weapon to defeat Lord Zine with, and I think the best place to start looking would be the ruins of Newcastle, if we can find it. Okay, and there's a tent here. Welcome to Vertigo! Sadly, most of the population has left because the town is infested with pests. A couple of years ago, I hired Joe, the exterminator, to rid the town of this menace. But the problem seems to be getting worse. Perhaps you could help. And here we have a first quest that we can see in the quest log. Clouds of Zine, rid Vertigo of the plague of pests and report back to Mayor Gunther. Vertigo 40 and 5. They even give you coordinates, that's nice. Yeah. So, this is what is going on in the town. It's infested with pests, and uh, the exterminator isn't actually doing anything. Ah. And this is the uh, weapon store. Also, these. Display case. Who will steal? Nobody. Don't do that. You will be put to jail if you try to do that. <laughs> what do you want? But yes, here is the store. And uh, another nice thing is that even if you have items in your inventory, you can see these uh, icons that show whether you can equip the item or not. You don't have to try and equip it to see if it works or not. Alright, so, well, they have pretty good things, but we don't really have much gold. Oh, Orb of Light, Coin of Toxic Clouds, and Rod of Blessing. Hmm. And yes, here you can only see Browse, because you can buy and sell everything from the same place. So, I'm going to do just that. Sell the club. Yes. And sell all the leather belts so they don't clog up our inventory. And we get some gold in exchange. Yes, you can identify and fix things. Why do you even show a cost for that? Like, what happens? Yeah. This is strange, but okay. Yeah, so as usual, you can identify things, but of course, as usual, there's no point in that if you have a clue book, because it lists everything as it is. Alright, so, um, what else do I want to do here? Well, that was the smith. Okay, these are the doors to the outside, but we are not ready for that at all. Also, trees. Money does grow on trees, actually. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things that you can notice right away in this game compared to House of Terra. Is that this game, as one person put it, is very cheesy. They pretty much regressed back to the Mind Magic 2 Gates to Another World level of Oh man, we're so wacky! And I don't think I really approve of that, because... The way Mind Magic 3 Hours of Terra handled it was really nice. And there's nothing in the box. Whoa! Doom bugs! Uh, Doom bugs... 
Huh. Um, hmm. Looking at my clue book, and things are... not in alphabetical order. I don't think. Actually, maybe it is in a sense. Okay, Doombuck. 75 experience, 5 hit points, 3 AC, 1 attack for 6 poison damage. No ranged attack, 17 speed. Okay, these guys are a bit more of a problem. Yeah, poison damage, ow. Yeah, and can I cast anything? I can cast Light, Magic Arrow, and Awaken. Bones can cast Awaken for Satan Light. Okay. And Sarah can only cast Light. Alright, that's fine. So, this place has a lot of enemies, and I might as well not bother with that then. Uh, where is the place that I... Come on. Where is the place I wanted to go to? Somewhere here, I know. But... Huh. Well, maybe it's on the other side of the town. It probably is on the other side of the town. Hmm. Yeah. Also, as far as I know, in this game, um, there are no dungeons, well, caverns under places, all the towns. So, uh, instead, they just have towns be quite huge. Two gold. There's a well, but I think it's quite like in Fountainhead, where you don't want to drink from wells until you have cleared all the pests in the town. Slime Lord shall rule. Nobody is on this bench. Eight gold. Five gold. Six gold. Dust control by Joe. So that's what I want to really find. I need to know the reason why his pest control isn't working correctly. I will teach anyone pathfinding for 2,500 gold. 2,500 gold. Why not just say 2,500? Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, we don't really have that much money at this point anyway. Pathfinding is important, but... This space for rent. Yeah, so, like I said, quite cheesy. <laughs> Where am I, anyway? Okay, I'm here. I don't think I want to be here. I think I want to go on the other side, actually. Now I look, look at this... No. Alright. Yeah, I think I want to go here. Let's also look at our hit points. Oh! Oh dear. Yeah, I need to heal everyone. First aid! On oh, Chekhov. Alright. Uh, you can get to 14. You can get to 14. You can get to 8 to 10. Okay. So, heal Kirk and heal Chekhov. Yeah. Okay, bash the door. Oh no. AC. They actually managed to take the hit. Yes, this is where I want to go, actually. Nothing here. Another doom bug. Nothing 
here again. Jail. Huh. Looks like the jail is empty. Nothing here. Nothing here. It's completely empty. Oh, hi there. Hmm. I am somewhere. And there's Doombug. Or two. That's a lot of doors to shut down. And I'm back in Lady Geraldine's Tavern. Okay. Hmm. Have I really explored everything there? I don't think so. Oh yeah, and there are more trees here. For more gold. This goes here. Gilbert's hexes. Huh, hey. More beds to search. Hmm, but nothing here. Welcome to the guild. And uh, this is the guild, actually. Members only. And we don't have a membership. Oh well. But we'll get it eventually, I guess. This is the jail. Hmm. Did I... Yeah, I opened this box. What's here? Oh, oh dear. Um, first aid. And more first aid. Oh wow, I'm almost out of first aid. Huh. Also, looking at this... Our is at 1000, 1000... 1500. Okay, so paladins gain level slower and robbers gain levels faster. Just like before. Yeah, okay. Either way, we cannot train just yet. Okay, so for the most part, this is actually explored. Uh, except for this part, let's see what this is about. No, oh, there's another gate. Have I been here? Yes, but not forward here. Oh, there's just another gate. Alright, well, this quadrant is pretty much explored now. More gold, and this is the bank. Well, let's go look at it. Safe and secure! Hmm. Okay. Well, hi there. And by there. <laughs> okay. Now then. I have explored this part. And uh, how about here? Oh yeah, that's the other outside area. Alright, so there's just nothing here. Okay, so this is the outside area and there's nothing interesting in it. Well, I guess we explored uh, much of this place then. But where is Joe himself? Hmm. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the passage to the other green grass area. This is the slime temple? Okay. 
So this is the temple, actually, yeah. May we help you? Heal, donation, and curse. As usual. Hmm. And these pews actually have something. Well, some of them. The end is near! <laughs> the plague cult member. Hmm. So he's an elf. Nothing here. The plague is upon us! <laughs> okay. Sinners must repent! You guys all have the same looks and the same voice. That's kind of scary. <laughs> and nothing else here. But I have no idea what they're talking about, but hey. That's what cultists are all about. Being very strange. Oh, okay, I haven't actually explored this place. Oh no! You dastardly slimes. And okay, nothing broke. That's good. But yes, now I'm out of spell points to heal anyone. So I need to be careful. I said I need to be careful. Not to go and attack a breeder slime. <sighs> Let's see. Breeder, breeder, breeder slime. 200 experience, 20 hit points, 2 AC, 1 attack for 1 to 8 damage, poison damage, 25 speed, no range attack. Breeder slimes are simply adult versions of the common slimes that can be found in Festing Vertigo. Breeder slimes, like their smaller kin, are 100% immune to poison. Welp. So I hope nothing broke. Yes, okay. Well, that's Joe's store room. I want to find Joe himself. Hmm. And yeah, I need to rest, basically. And we do have food for five days, yeah. So let's go and rest. Away from the danger. How about we rest on this uh, pest control by Joe um, s sitting place? Eight hours passed. Rest complete. Good points and spell points restored. Six food consumed. Okay. And now let's. That's that. I want to go forward, actually. Hmm. Nothing much here, looks like. Okay, actually, wait a minute. I have been there, and I have not been here. So let's go here. Okay, so these are just small houses. Oh, plate armor! Nice! The best armor, well, the base armor for our knight. And paladin, actually, too. Okay, and let's look into these boxes now. Nothing. 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 That's a lot of nothing. Oop, but still, there's nothing. Okay, I'm 
facing the wrong way. Yeah, I want to actually explore more of this place. What's here? Okay, there's another passage to this place. Alright. Let's just go into more of the houses and search the beds while the house owners are not here. Oh, and it's day again. I uh, have been here. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of doom bugs. You. Stupid things. Okay, there's nothing but trash here. I'm not too sure if searching trash is something that is safe. Oh, come on! Okay, they are quite low in health. Chekhov. So there's trash, there's more trash. And there's gates that I can open. Okay, well, uh, let's look at this box, which doesn't have anything in it. But I guess I will stop here then, and... Uh, find out if it's safe to search those things. And I will see you all next time.